This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews, and I'll be doing a review on Brickmania T72 Ural, main battle tank. I don't know if that's how you say it. And this contains 686 pieces plus some printed uh, instructions. Number 846, and the skill level is intermediate. And here's the back of the box, ages 14 and up, released in 2016. And this is currently out of stock. It's been like that for a while, but when it was in stock, it was $345. So with the box empty, you get your instruction book and your pieces. So without further ado, let's build it. And here's a set complete. All that's included is the tank and one minifigure. No weapons except for this. Got your instruction book and of course the box. The minifigure included is in dark tan and comes with a vest. Though so you got the yellow colored head. Let's take a look at the torso without the vest and accessory or the helmet. And there he is. I would think there would be printing but apparently not. That's okay because one minifigure is better than zero. I know some brick mini kits do not come with minifigures, but luckily this one does. Anyways, take a look at the tank. So this thing, um, eight wide body plus the track, so that's 12 studs and the side skirt, so a little bit over 12 studs wide. Uh, nice, nice size for this type of tank. And you have six wheels plus the two on top it's nice back here and I like the detailing in the front I don't know what you call those things I'm not sure but some detailing to one here and your cannon can go up and cannot go down or it can here but this gets in the way and you can sort of open this Put your minifig in there. Also included is an antenna and you have a secondary weapon here. And a couple hatches. Also a light. So the turret can rotate 360. Let's see what it looks like without. Take this out and I guess that's supposed to come off too. So these types of tanks, the turret is a little bit small, kind of low. Here's the uh, body and you can remove this to reveal just a small little interior. Uh, nothing else in there. I mean, even here. So kind of plain. And with the tracks, there are 61 on each side. These are the custom track that LEGO doesn't make. Unfortunately, with this tank, it doesn't rotate very well. The track has an issue going around the wheels, and a little flaw on this side is um, this part, these parts here detach a lot. Let's test it out on carpet because hard surface, there's no way. And there you go. It's just, I don't know what's getting stuck, but mine just doesn't seem to rotate that smoothly. Another problem too is these parts here are kind of fragile. Let's open it up. So there's that middle piece and it's only held by this Technic pin. It's a two stud wide so what I'm going to do is replace it with three studs, see if that works. So I put that in and this holds way better. I'll do the same thing with this side here. So much better. So now time to conclude this review. We all know that Brickmania kits are expensive and this is no exception. This one here though I think uh, is not that much of a good deal to others. There are better tanks out for just a little bit more. Um, pay a little bit more and you get better pieces and 
better tank. This tank, I'd say, just doesn't have many special pieces whatsoever. Um, nothing too fancy. Only exclusive pieces are the tracks and some of those little miscellaneous hand pieces. Other than that, everything else um, it's pretty much you can find. Yeah, so for, for uh, 345 I'd say this for 300 would be good for a Brickmania set. Um, I know a lot of people can't afford Brickmania, but always go the alternative route if you can't afford. However, if you can afford this and you don't have much room, like me, uh, Brickmania is a way to go because I can buy 10 cheaper tanks and I really won't have room for them. But this one, I'll have room for. That's one expensive tank. That's all I have to say about this set. It's Breakhead Boy. Thanks for watching.